Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video and today talking about two attack strategies at Town Hall 10. You need to have down these two strategies are the go-to at Town Hall 10 right now. They're working very well, especially this one you're going to see right here. But um, also just on a bigger uh, picture, you want to be able to have a arsenal of multiple different strategies depending on the base. Now, for one, I like using hogs, but um, to be honest, they're not very mainstream. They're very base specific. And uh, we're going to take a look at two strategies that work on most Town Hall 10 bases if you can break them down right. Now, there are uh, slight variations you have to do to adjust to each of the uh, to whatever base you're attacking. But in general, uh, you can use them on most bases if you uh, if you identify the right things about that base. So this first one is the classic Witch Bowler, and uh, this one adds healers to it. So it's something you can do. Three healers right here um, on the queen, just to uh, to help her kind of step up, take out some buildings. Not supposed to be a huge queen walk, just a little bit here. The witches also help out by providing tanking. Um, just adds a little bit of extra um umph to that side of the attack then the main force of witches and bowlers is going to the left um working the way up to the top and going into the base is a golem the king and a bunch of bowlers now don't send witches into the base that's one thing i've kind of learned they're very good around the outside if you have enough of them don't send them into the middle of the base it's just not worth it use more bowlers and one thing that makes this attack um very viable is look at how that inferno is one tile away from these walls that way the next jump doesn't even have to uh, let everything into the bowler compartment or into the inferno compartment because the bowlers can reach it but i think he has the jump anyway so um well actually he drops the jump uh a little bit in front so th yeah the bowlers are able to shoot into that compartment which is very important um, because sometimes the Inferno can just roast your bowlers if it stays up. But regardless, he gets to the wall so quickly. You're using all your spells on your um, force entering the base. So typically, you're going to need two jumps. Um, sometimes you want to freeze, sometimes not. just depends. With level 2 Infernos, it makes it easier not to have to freeze. But um, two rages and a heal, I think, is what he used here. You can take out a uh, heal or take out a rage and put a freeze in if needed. Don't use more than one freeze typically. The front side Inferno, you won't have to freeze um, for the most part in most cases because your bowlers will be able to get through it so quickly when there's that much of them up at the beginning of the attack that they won't need the freeze. It'll all happen so quickly. But sometimes the back end Inferno, you need to freeze. Um, but awesome attack there. One thing, don't be too thin on the witches going around the outside. You wanna have two to three witches, a group of bowlers, sometimes a few wizards, and also you don't have to do both sides. Sometimes just a group walking around one side of the base and just let the other side just kind of be if there's not many defenses on it or maybe your queen can go around that side. If there's a lava hound in the CC, let her just walk around one side. Um, either one works. They're both good options. So um, yeah, that being said, this one is another strategy you should have down. It is uh, La Loon, and especially, I think this one's especially powerful, is some kind of a boulder kill squad La Loon. I think it's underused. We see too many mass La Loons with a ton of lava hounds and balloons, and those ones can be tricky because the balloon pathing um, is difficult if there's a huge part of the base left up. It just gets very difficult to predict um, where everything's going to go. Um, so I like the more segmented attacks here. This is Templar Assassin, and queen around the outside to get a few defenses create the funnel um and not have to worry about the lava hound popping then the bowlers the king a golem up the gut with a jump and a rage to get some awesome value doesn't even have to get one of the inferno towers taken out granted this is a level two inferno tower base but um oftentimes the level two inferno tower town hall tens are the ones that the town hall tens need to three star not the uh the max town hall tens so uh, these might be what you face more often than not. Depends on what clan you're in, I guess. Um, but very good stuff here. Drops the haste. You can see a nice runway for his balloons to go down and a good freeze heal on the back end. Like I said um, in previous videos, I think the one about what spells to use on La Loon, you want to drop the heal towards the end. 
when the Inferno Towers cannot hurt your balloons. On this one, he was able to freeze, so basically the Inferno was essentially down. Um, so yeah, worked out great. Nice attack to Templar. And uh, let's go ahead and fast forward to the end here. And that will do it. Okay, we're going to take a look at one more attack, believe it or not. We are going to take a look at my base being three-starred. Um, yep, yeah, I said it. This base I have been using for um, about a month. I've used it in, I think, three CWL matchups. So maybe even more than a month. Um, I think this is the first, no, the second time it's been three-starred by a Town Hall 10. The first time it took like six attacks. This base routinely has soaked up um, even in CWL matchups, about four Town Hall 10 attacks, and more often than not, it has not been three-starred, but um, people always try some kind of Laloon, but the Witch uh, Bowler worked very, very well on this base for whatever reason. Um, even though the Queen goes inside the base and the Lava Hound's there, he was really able to get deep into the base and uh, get the job done here, so um, kind of sucks to see because this base... I've been using for so long and it kind of got taken out on what is a little bit of a spam attack especially with all his troops going in every direction you can see a huge group of bowlers didn't even go inside the base but he was able to get the queen behind a golem that's i guess the reason why he tripled is the queen somehow sat back behind a golem there and takes out the inferno a few other defenses basically only leaving the archer towers and stuff and he has so many witches and bowlers that he can take all that out so little bit of a lucky attack. This base, if you want to use it, is pretty solid, but I thought I'd show it because I'm probably done with it. Um, it's had such a long lifespan, I should probably move on, make a new base, but these types of bases I like doing, maybe I'll make a separate video on Town Hall 10 base builds because um, there's this one type of base with the four air defenses all across the kind of the middle almost, the bottom middle, like in this base, that seems to work out very well. So um, yeah, anyway, nice attack to... Uh, Ken Bitsu from Sheldon Massive from our Arranged War this weekend. Awesome stuff. By the way, to add on, um, you guys watched the last live attack probably. I was able to get the four-star war to uh, Town Hall 11 two-stars. So I'm proud of myself. Got the job done. But um, unfortunately, they got the victory over us. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Those are just two strategies you should know. The uh, Sometimes a queen walk sometimes not witch bowler attack and then also the um it would be a bow la loon where you send in a, a bowler kill squad um you can have your queen guard on the outside take out a few buildings create the funnel send a golem your king and some bowlers with a jump and a rage typically get some good value then la loon the rest of the base two strategies i think will work for you guys um because town hall 10 is tough but on some of these lower level bases if you execute it right it actually doesn't have to be that hard so that will do it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.